Hey, this is Phil with Filmora and welcome back to the YouTube marketing series. Let's move on to the creator studio, the back end of YouTube where you're going to be uploading, changing your settings and using all kinds of tools that YouTube has made available for us. So here we are in the back end of the Creator Studio. Just go up to your icon at the top right and then click on Creator Studio. You can see all of your channels here and you can see all of the different channels that I've created. You can also add other accounts. So I have my personal account there and you can actually add your other YouTube channels through that account. So you can easily navigate between all of your different accounts. You're here on the dashboard, which is an overview of sort of everything that is in your creator studio. You have your channel name at the top, you have your views, subscribers, and you can customize this page. I have videos, so these are my latest videos, so I can just quickly see the stats for those latest videos. I have analytics, so this is the watch time, views, subscribers, estimated revenue for the past 28 days. There's comments, so I can quickly see if there's new comments. Then there's tips below that YouTube gives us and you can add different widgets. So if you click add widgets, you can add different types of widgets and you can see the ones that I've added. For videos, I can add a different video widget and I could customize it. So say I want just public videos, unlisted, private, or some sort of custom, I can do that. So I'm going to actually just remove this so it's back to regular. And then I can move these around. Say I want comments up here, I can move comments up here. I like analytics at the top though, a quick view of my analytics. Next, let's, let's move on to the video manager. In your video manager tab, and just to help you navigate, these are all sort of tabs on the left hand side, and then underneath those tabs you have other sub menus. So when you click on video manager, you go straight to your videos. These are all of the videos that you have uploaded, both live and ones that are unlisted or private. You have their views, you have you can see their comments, their likes, their dislikes. And you can also edit these straight from here. You can click this down button to go directly to a specific edit option. So say I wanna quickly edit the cards or the subtitles or even download an MP4. So for some reason, if you deleted a video, you can actually download it straight from YouTube. You can also edit multiple videos at once. Say I have these three videos, or four, let me add four, and I want to edit all of them at the same time. I can click actions and say monetize, demonetize, I can make them all unlisted, I can delete them, you can click more actions to see more actions, you can see all of these different actions um, for everything basically. You can also, let me just cancel that, quickly add videos to playlists. So if we have multiple selected or just single ones, you can say add to, and then you have different playlists. And you can also create new playlists from here. Speaking of playlists, the next option under Video Manager is the playlist option. And so here we can organize our playlist, we can create new playlists, we can edit our playlists. We'll talk more about playlists later on, but they're a very important way to encourage watch time and to get more views for our videos. Next is copyright notices. So if you use music and that's someone else's, which I have sometimes in the past, it will give you a copyright notice. The cool thing about using music from other artists on YouTube now is that when you do, YouTube actually has ads on those videos and pays the artist. The next tab is the submit retraction. So this is just if there are videos that have alleged copyright infringement and you make that known to YouTube, you can retract that infringement right here. The next tab is live streaming and this gets a little bit more advanced. It's not something we're going to be covering in this course, but YouTube does have an option to do live streaming. This is currently in beta mode, uh, but it's something that is getting more popular so you should look into this page if you're interested in. They have all of the rules and the step-by-step -step instructions over here. And you can have events, so if you wanna set up a live event, you can schedule them here in this events tab. The next menu is the community menu, or the community tab, and this has all of your comments, messages, you can see all of your subscribers, 
OnlyFans funding. That was the little box on the right hand of your channel where you're asking for money. You have community settings. So if you wanna ban people who are spamming, you can actually ban specific people. You can also add people to moderate your channel through the community settings and add credits. So the credits is a great place. If you're collaborating with other YouTubers, you can actually add them to your videos as the cinematographer or the actor or the director or different types of credits. One cool thing about the community is the subscribers menu. So this is where you can see all of your subscribers. It starts from most recent, but one cool thing to do is to see your most popular subscribers. So this is awesome because I can see people who have almost a million subscribers are subscribed to my channel. And this is a great way to find people to potentially partner with on a collaboration video. You want to partner with people who have lots of subscribers, but also are interested in your type of content. So you can check out these people's channels and see, do they make similar videos? Would the channel make sense? So comments, this is a great tab because you can quickly reply to all kinds of comments for all of your videos rather than going to the videos individually. So I go on here every day or two just to reply. You can see spam. So YouTube does a relatively good job at preventing spam. And for some of my videos, especially the ones related to personal finance, I get a lot of spam. So you can delete those or approve them if they're not spam. The messages tab, this is direct messages to you, your channel, they're private. So they don't show up on the um, anywhere other than to you. Let's move on to the channel tab. So this is a very important tab. This is where you can enable a lot of the features that I'm talking about for your channel because when you get started you're not going to have all of these features enabled and you can also see if you're you have any strikes copyright strikes or community guideline strikes and if you get strikes that's not good because your channel could potentially get banned or shut down if you get a lot of strikes for doing things that aren't allowed you can see first that I am a YouTube partner so that allows me to do things like monetization longer videos and that's just a quick option when you're getting started out to verify that you are who you are and that you can enable some of these other things like monetization, longer videos. And when you're getting started, what you're going to do is go to this page and just click the enable button. Some of the things will have you walk through a couple instructions for making sure that you, you enable it. Um, but this is where you go through and enable things like custom thumbnails or longer videos or, or any of these other things. Monetization under channel, this is where you can set up your monetization settings. And so when you're just getting started out, you're going to have to set up an AdSense account. So just click on the button that says set up AdSense account, create your AdSense account, and you will have to have a website to do that to create an AdSense account but you could really use just a free blog website like from blogger.com that should be fine or have a website of your own. The next menu is the default settings so your upload defaults. This is important to set up when you're getting started because it saves a lot of time. You can set it up so whenever you start an upload all of these settings are already input so your video is public. The category is education for me. You could choose a different category for you. You can choose the license, standard, or Creative Commons. Creative Commons means that other people can use your video however they want. The description, you can see that I have a call to action with a lead magnet. I have links to my other channels. This shows up on every video. Also tags, if you're creating videos about one thing, like you're you're just doing woodworking videos. You might need to have tags like woodworking or DIY wood project, wood building or craft or whatever it is. But for me, I just include video school online as my main tag because they're all my videos are kind of different. So the only tag that is consistent is video school online. There's other settings that you could choose and turn on or off such as ad formats, language, and you can go through those. Paid subscriptions. So did you know that you can actually make your channel private and only allow people who pay to watch your channel? Well, that's right here under the paid subscriptions option. So you can go through there and do that. 
featured content this is where you add a channel ad you can also add a little featured video button that pops up during the middle of every video you can make it your latest video or you can make it a specific video so if you have one that is a good sort of lead magnet that gets a lot of people to your website or your business you want to, might want to put that as your featured video and you can customize when it pops up and um, how it pops up too with different messaging branding this is your watermark we're gonna learn about how to and what you should use as your watermark for all of your videos and then there are some advanced settings so if you go here you can change your channel keywords this is something that you should put in right away because this will help your channel show up in search when people are searching for channels so for, for people searching for motion graphics or passive income udemy skillshare i want my channel to show up this is also where you can link your adwords account so if you do want to actually promote your videos as ads you can do that and associate your website this is important for you using youtube cards because you can only link out to your own website in your youtube cards if it's an associated website so this is where you do it under your channel advance you can also see here that you can allow channel recommendations or the subscriber count to appear on your channel or not the next is the analytics and I'm not going to go through the analytics right now because we have a full video on how to use analytics later on but this is where you can see all of your stats and you can see here just from the amount of analytics you have you have your revenue you have your watch time demographics subscribers you can see everything you would ever want about who is watching your videos this is a new tab the translations and transcriptions YouTube is allowing other people to actually create translations or transcribe your video for you. This is just something that uh, maybe people will want to do if your channel gets really big. This is new and you'll notice if you're using YouTube in the future, the channel creator studio might look a little different. So they're always kind of tweaking things, but this is how the layout has been for a while. And then lastly, the create tab. This is a great tab to know about. This is where you can find free music to use for any of your videos under the audio library. All of this music is free for you to use. Some of it you have to attribute to the author and that's over here in this column. If it has this Creative Commons attribution logo right here, that means that you have to just say, I use this song and you can do that in the video itself or in your description. But a lot of this music is completely free to use for you whether it's for a personal or commercial project you can search through with by genre by mood instrument duration and you can even check out sound effects um, if you're making videos i've used these a lot even for professional commercials i find sound effects right here you can search for specific ones music policies so this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can actually use other people's music, popular music in your videos. This is, and they allow you to do that. You're just going to have to have ads enabled on that video, which is done automatically. And then they get paid for any ad revenue from that video. So you can see big names, 20, 21 Pilots, Wiz Khalifa, Major Lazer, Psy, Justin Bieber, Rihanna. And this is a great place to find out if they are allowed because if you click on some of these, so a lot of these, it will show that it, it is allowed, but some of them, if you click them, it might say it's not allowed. So I, I don't see any right now. Okay, so here, Shawn Mendes. So this Treat You Better, that song's not available to use. If you want to use a popular song, just come here, check and see if you're allowed to use it. Then lastly is the video editor. It is a cool way to create videos right online. So this is the Creator Studio, but I really encourage you to spend some time to actually look through all of the menus and just kind of figure out where things are. If there are things you're looking for and you, I didn't cover them, please submit a comment, but really the best way to do it is to just poke around yourself. Wow, that was a lot of stuff and I truly hope it was beneficial to you. Thank you for watching and in the next video in the series, we're going to understand our own YouTube mission.